Going is sussing like going is God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, oh, they go crazy. Go crazy, they love that. Hey, they go crazy for real. Almost everything. Yeah. Like, I don't know. supposed to be out there and it's just out there and mm -hmm. they, they hurt their team more than they help mm -hmm. you know I didn't really want to be you know that but at the same time I want to put myself in into that fire to see what I was capable of doing mm -hmm. I didn't want to let the opportunity pass and say ah you know I should have tried to play you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. oh I should have set out right. I rather try to play then sit out nice. try to play it was a struggle initially. It was a struggle because I was just coming off the best year I had. Um, I got hurt the first game of the season the next year. Mm -hmm. Going against New Orleans, mm -hmm. the Saints, in Green Bay. Mm -hmm. Won that game too. Um, but I got hurt and um, it was like, it was like you're playing a game Imagine a Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, you got the PS fours and fives, and everything saves itself. Right. You got memory cards automatically save itself. But remember the Nintendo? You, you couldn't save it. Nah, ain't no saving. You nothing. couldn't save nothing, man. It was, you know, if, if something happened, um, you just just gotta take that in. Yeah. So, imagine coming off the best year. You didn't have mm -hmm. flying high in your mind. You're like, I'm gonna take this to another level. Like, I'm the best in the game. I'm gonna continue to prove it. And you get hurt the first game of the year. And let's say that I've never been seriously hurt, you know, ever. Mm -hmm. You know, so once I felt this pain and, and, and had this shoulder injury that, that it was, the first thing that went in my mind was, your season is over. Your season is over. That was the first thing that went into my mind because once I got, once I got hit on that shoulder and um, just the pain and the way I was rolling around on the ground, um, I, I was I was saying to myself, there's no way that I can play. Yeah. You know, what I'm there's no way that I can play. Like it gotta be yeah. sub serious. Mm -hmm. So, nonetheless, um, first three days. This was a Thursday game. 
this was a Thursday game we played. It was the, actually the first game of the season. It's the kickoff game. So it was a Thursday game, which kind of helped the process. First three days, Shoba didn't move. What? Shoba didn't move. At all? At all. First three days, Shoba didn't move. So like I said, it was a Thursday game. The next game is not till next Sunday. Mm -hmm. Thursday game. Um, Take my MRIs, everything. Um, they like, you know, you got minor damage, but you know, if you can get through it, you know, you'll be all right. Minor damage, damage is really major damage. Because mm -hmm. I had nerve damage. Mm -hmm. So when I say that my shoulder didn't move for the first three it days, move. didn't move. Like mm -hmm. Mentally, in my mind, I can say, T just was just like I just raised my shoulder up. Now, T raise your shoulder. My arm just a shake. Can't do it. Can't do it. So after those three days, it started coming back. Mm -hmm. Some of the nerves started coming back. Like my whole shoulder was shut down. Yeah. So some of my nerves started coming back, and I went from from here to maybe here mm -hmm. in one day. And the next day I was maybe here. And then I got to here and my arm started shaking again. And then maybe like that fourth day I was able to kind of lift it mm -hmm. like right. I wanted to, yeah. wanted to. But still when I get it up to this point, it's pain because yeah. it you know, still had strain, right. nerve, I mean ligaments and stuff. was So it was minor but it was major, major painful at the right. same time. So they put me in a, in a harness. Mm -hmm. So in his harness, um, strap it to your chest. Strap it, um, strap your arm down to where you got a thing that your arm can't go no higher than this. Okay. So imagine that I play DB position, but I can't get my arm up. You know, to yeah. make any play. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine that. Right. So um, I had to deal with that and the first game we had, the next game we had was Carolina. Okay. Um, I remember going out to practice, um, it was like Thursday or Friday because I didn't practice them throughout the week. Because mm -hmm. my, but my nerves started coming back so it was like, alright, see what you can try to see what you can do. Mm -hmm. So like deep down inside, like I knew that, I, you know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> just like, I just, I just got here. <laughs> I knew that I shouldn't be out there. Right. But man, yeah, I, 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 you know. I ain't used to missing no games, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna see what I got. That you know what I'm saying? So I go out there to practice and you're doing one on ones. And you know, I was like, man, I'm gonna go on and see how it feels. Yeah. So get into one on ones, going up against the receiver, man. I get into my technique and I'm finna jam him and I shoot that on. And man, when I tell you, man, I feel like that arm could have just fell off and I'd have been fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> that boy could have fell off. I, oh, like man. when I shot it, yeah. like you can hear the scream, ah! Oh. Yeah. And I dropped that boy and I just ran off the field. Mm -hmm. I went back in, I was like, man. So that was painful. So go back inside, do more rehab. Right. So I do more rehab, do more rehab. Cause at the end of the day, I'm still like, man, I'm still trying to play in the game. No, nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm still facts. trying to play in the I'm game. I'm trying to play. So we get the game day, whatnot not that Sunday, so they was gonna make me a game time decision. Um, if we didn't have a doctor, I'd have been out there sh hurt shoulder and all. Mm -hmm. I'd have been out there hurt shoulder and all. Yeah. Doc was like, T, I don't think you should go. Mm -hmm. T, I don't think you should go. We, we ain't gonna go. And I was like, man, like deep down inside, I knew it. Um, I was like, mm, you know, I'm still fighting mm -hmm. him a little bit. Yeah. But I'm like, all right, dog. No, for I sure. need this one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I need this one. So nonetheless, um, I didn't go the next game. I didn't go that game right there. And we talk about my guy, Nick Collins. So um, I will say this about Nick, like, he was myself, Charles Woodson, 
Sam Shields. He was our safety blanket. Like, the things that he can do back at the safety position, like, I don't think it was safety in the game who was doing what he was doing when Sean Taylor was in, maybe Sean can do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sean can do it. Obviously, Ed Reed, Ed Reed can right. do it. But, like, he was the next, he was the next great safety company. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was that guy. And this game that I missed was the game that he got hurt. Mm -hmm. The game with his career ended, ended, ended mm -hmm. so, like, this is my guy, and the game, I get hurt the game before that. I don't get a chance to play with him. No more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No more. Um, but trust me, like, part of the, the mindset that we went into games was because we know we had him back there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, part of that mindset was, man, we got Nick back there, so, man, we ain't got to worry about nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We play aggressive dude once, mm -hmm. he gonna have us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that's that's a difference between being just good and great. Mm -hmm. Like, for me anyway, because now I go from fighting back my own battles, my mm -hmm. shoulder, trying to get back into form that I was and that I'm chasing right. now because... The reset button has been, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm playing reset. Mario. I'm on the last stage, and, and, and little man come in here and just hit the reset <laughs> button. <laughs> hey, what you doing, man? Man, like, man what's going on? Yeah, for sure. So, like, now I'm trying to fight my way back into that form, even though I know that I'm not in physical shape. Then. Mm -hmm. You know, I would. I should be in, and I know that I can be in to get back to that form. I know that I wasn't gonna be in that physical shape, at least not that year. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you know, in, in in this game, you can't you can't say that. Like you gotta go into the media and you like, man, I'm gonna be good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna get better every week. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Get more comfortable. Yeah. At the same time, man, man I'm hurt, hurt. still. Yes. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you know yes, saying? but you can't get him well, the, still, you can't can't get the juice, because you know, then that's going to, yeah. you know what I mean, but fuel to the fire, what they got going on, right. yeah, you can't do that. So, so nonetheless, man, battled through it, battled through it, and got to a point, at least to where, you know what I'm saying, I, I felt comfortable again, I, you know what I'm saying, I was able to focus actually on the game, the people who we were playing, instead of being out there focusing on the shoulder, will I mess it up anymore? Mm -hmm. And I got to, uh, later on in the season, I got to that point, and you can tell the difference um, easily. I started making plays on the ball like that mm -hmm. again, and you can see, you know what I'm saying? You can see, you can just see the flashes yeah. just like that. And um, I was like, all right, this is what I need to get back to. I'm still in that, at, at that point, but I was, right. you know, I was becoming a lot more productive. Fast. You know what I'm and saying? Feeling good too. And I was feeling a lot better, so became a lot more productive, but at the same time, um, a lot of people would know that. I told you I had the nerve damage, so. Mm -hmm. Nerve damage, a lot of the nerves came back around, but it was just one specific nerve that didn't come back. That didn't come back, so it leaves a um, specific area in my shoulder is weak. Like, got my arm like this, and I'm trying to hold it here, and you can just push it in. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's just weak. Mm -hmm. Nothing you can do about it because the nerve is, yes. you know what I'm saying? The nerve is, is gone, so I played the rest of my career like that. They don't know. They don't even know. But guess what you gotta do, though? Man, you gotta, you gotta, gotta, fight, through. You gotta fight through it, gotta continue to evolve. Mm -hmm. Something get weak on you, find another, another route. Another route. So, um, you know, I, I, I strengthened all the muscles up around that area mm -hmm. um, and was made it as strong as it, that it, it could be. Yeah. Didn't really affect me that much, but it did affect, I'll say it did affect um, the way that I catch the ball at times. Okay. Because part of that shoulder was yeah. that grip too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They grip too, so um, I had a, quite a few interceptions that Wayne 
threw my hand, slipped through my hand. I was like, man, that ain't me. Mm -hmm. Something else is going on, man. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I would have caught this. Yeah, I would have caught yeah. this for sure. So I think um, that was part of it. Some of the balls that I dropped mm -hmm. was, you know, because of the shoulder. But um, I was still able to be productive and right. find a way and be productive, not making any excuses and getting back to my game, really. mm -hmm. getting back to my game. And then obviously the league began to shift and then heck, I began to shift with the league because now the league went from um, not only looking for corners, but looking, looking for guys who can do everything. So then, you know, I you know, moved on and went to Cleveland and, and went to Arizona and, and I played all of these different positions. So when I was in Cleveland, I got a chance to play. You know, I was at the corner, I played the nickel spot, I played safety, I started mm -hmm. safety some games. So now I got these things under my belt, under my resume. Mm -hmm. So now you got teams who that's what they're looking for. Now. Right. So I got that option now. Um, regardless of my age, I mean, they know that I can still play. They know that I'm a student of the game. Mm -hmm. They know that I'm good in the locker room. They know my character is, is superior. I was about to say eight and one. You know, yeah, sure. they know my character is superior. Sure. So, so, like all of those things matter um, when you play the position that I do. Up until the point that I have, mm -hmm. um, I'll be thirty eight years old. Four days. Exactly. Four days. 16, 16 corners has played up until this day, has played when they were 37 years old. And just think about that. Like, all of these years, mm -hmm. only 16 corners are safeties. I guess you could say DBs in mm -hmm. general have played this position up until what they consider an older age. Mm -hmm. I'm a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think all of those things matter. Though. I think that, you know, yeah, you can be, you know, great athletically and whole nine, but I think to some degree you gotta have a total package of being able to adjust, having a character, being a great locker room guy, mm -hmm. um, being a great motivator, a great teacher, because it's gonna come to a point to where they gonna look at you and, and, and they gonna say, "Look here, man, man. We know that you still can play, but we drafted this young guy. Mm -hmm. But we want to take your spot. But we want you to teach him a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And to a guy who played at a high level, you know, what I'm saying for so long, you can easily be like, "Man, dog, I still got it. Right. I don't know what y'all talking about. Right? You know. But at the end of the day, one of the things that I learned is that. The team will always get what they want. The team will always get what they want. You have to go through some type of experience that's gonna humble you to mm -hmm. some degree. And you, and you may not get humbled out in the public, but you know that you've been humbled. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. You may not get humbled out in the public, but you know that you've been humbled. Mm -hmm. um, and throughout my, my process of being humble, like I also expanded and increased in different areas that gave me opportunity to continue to play as long as I had. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, I mean, it was it was a heck of a journey. For sure, yeah. Thanks. I think that battery is still going. It should be two in there. Both of them. They blinking. All right, that's cool. I know because it's been running. It should be fine though, because okay. I ain't gonna lie. Just let me know if it cuts off, but you good. Okay, cool. It was right. 20 and then it wasn't a thing, I just let me know. Okay, no worries. It's just because it's been running, running nonstop for real. Right. But no worries. Um, I do have another, I should have another battery in that bag. Okay. So it should be good. But just, okay. Um. So with all that being said, what's next? Hmm. <laughs> My kids, my kids, man, um, you know, I've had a couple instances last year during the season to where if 
first day of school, I had the opportunity to bring my kids to school for the first time. You know what I'm saying? I had to bring my kids to school for the first time, and that felt great. After so many years. After so many years, you know, sacrifices. I don't think people understand, you know, all of the sacrifices. I'm a family guy, so to me, like, that means a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that means a lot. A lot of people always say, man, uh, especially guys who played in, in the game, like, man, go till you can't go no more. Yeah, yeah. That's what they That's say. That's the story. Yeah. That's what they say, but I'm like, man, why? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't want to die on this field. No. I mean, at the end of the day, I want to still be able to walk around, play with my kids, mm -hmm. teach other people the game if that's what it comes down to. Mm -hmm. um, just do a bunch of different things. Like I said, I told you earlier, I said, I'm a chameleon. You know, I can fit into any environment and blend right in. Yes. Because that's the same thing with people. Like, I feel like it don't matter what type of person you put around me, um, whether it's the corniest dude, whether it's the coolest dude, mm -hmm. whether it's the most intimidating dude, I, like I feel like I can blend right in with them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I can blend right in with them. That's just who I've been. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, um, I feel like that's a gift that I have, truthfully. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like a gift that I have. Like some people who who others can't get, who can't get to, like, there's something about me, like, I can, I can get to them. Mm -hmm. I can get them to open up to me, or mm -hmm. I can get them to feel more comfortable. The angriest man in the world, he's not that angry around. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The angriest man in the world, he's not that angry around. Yeah. You know, so, um, I feel like that's a gift that I have, man. And, um, you know, I think it's something good to have, personally. No, facts. Yeah. You know, facts. So, you saying you go, the, what's next is the kids. So the kids is next, okay, the kids is next. Um, coaching is next. Okay. I'm uh, coaching track right now. Okay. I'm coaching a track team. Um, pretty sure football gonna be up next. Um, that's one of the things that, I, that I'm gonna do, mentoring. I've done it when I was in the league already. Mm -hmm. I've done it with some of the guys. It's funny because some of the guys who I mentored um, from high school, uh, I actually played with one of them this year. Mm. I actually played with one of them this year. Okay. He's a rookie. He's a rookie this year. Another one, he is second year NFL player. He played for the uh, Cowboys. He was drafted by the Cowboys a couple seasons ago. Um, and the other ones, like everybody had opportunities. You know, they went to college. Got mm -hmm. one of them who's still in college. He's at OU. Okay. Like um, one of them went to Coastal Carolina. He had, actually had a, a small stint um, with the Giants. Okay, that's um, dope. So, like all the guys who came in, um, who who had questions about the NFL, who wanted to see what the next level was like, I took them in. Um, uh, work them out, um, all of these different things. Um, had the coaches come down and see what we do, and um, you know, just kind of give them just a, a look of you know what the work that they uh what the standards are mm -hmm. um, for the NFL. And um, those guys came down. We worked them hard. Trust me, we worked them hard, man. It was so as heck. It was. It was like, man. Like this, this is a different thing, mm -hmm. but um, it planted that seed, you know, for them mm -hmm. to know, okay, man, we trying to get to this level, man, this is what we need to do. Right. This is what we need to expect mm -hmm. out of ourselves. And uh, those guys did it. Like, they did it, they got the opportunity that they wanted, um, and they're all doing good. So, um, like I said, those type of uh, ventures, mentoring, um, then me and my wife, man, we're going to get into some stuff too. We're going we gonna, to we gonna do a bunch of stuff. Like I said, I'm down into a little bit of everything. Um, we may get into a little bit of real estate. Okay. And different stuff like that. So, man, I'm excited, man. The crazy part about it is that 
whatever it is that we do, we gonna flourish at. Thanks. We gonna flourish at, man. Um, because I value, first and foremost, value God. I value the people around me, mm -hmm. um, which God puts in my life. Mm -hmm. So I think with that circle that he puts around, the resources that we have, Man, I don't, I don't see how we can fail. You know what I'm saying? You got all the right people in. Um, everybody's helping out one another. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what you want to see. You know, that's what you want to see. So I feel like I'm in a good spot. I feel like I got a good foundation. Um, beautiful wife and kids. Yes. Great parents. Mm -hmm. Great friends. Great camera lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything though, I mean, I, I feel like everybody in my circle um, has has been there for a reason, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I value everybody. I value everybody. Um, the same, I, I tell everybody, everybody got value. To, to the public, the public may feel that some got more value than others, but I don't see it that way. I feel like everybody has some type of value that is worth Wow, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Everybody have that type of value, so um, you know we just gotta be first and foremost for them to believe it, and as us, as you know, individuals to build that specific person, whoever it may be, um, whether they're struggling, you know what I'm saying? I'm doubting that, you know, um, you know I don't have it all whatever it may be, man, it's for us also to step in there and, and build that next person up. Right. Man, no look facts. here, man, like, you got it, man. You just need to continue to believe and move forward because I tell a lot of people, sometimes the, the, the hardest thing to do is just take the first step. Take the first step. Um, I have these, con these conversations so many times with different people and they come to me with a, with a bunch of different stuff mm -hmm. and I'm like, man, well, what you gonna do to make that happen? Mm -hmm. They're telling me all of these these things, but they, they're too scared to take that first yeah. step. Yeah. I'm like, just take the first step. Whatever happens after that happens. Yes, facts. Like, you're not gonna figure it out if you just stand it. We keep having the same conversation over and over again. Right. <laughs> you know right. Exactly. Exactly. We keep having the same conversation over again. Just take that first step, yeah. and that's gonna tell you enough. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay. Through all of this, you didn't say anything about football. So what's happening with football? What's happening with football? Football in the NFL, for me, <laughs> that's done. Okay. Football for me in the NFL is done. I feel like I put in my time. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've planted my seeds and I feel like those seeds are gonna flourish. I'm ready to go plant some more seeds. That's beautiful. For sure. I love it. Yes, yes ma'am. I love it. Y'all heard it here first. Tremaine Williams, Vision for Productions. Appreciate it. For sure. Yes, it's love, you yeah, already yeah, know, it's sure, love. Sure. I appreciate you. This is beautiful. That was a good one. That was good. I appreciate it. For sure. Like, for real.